Hello, Turtle Monkey here, and today we're going to talk about my new pet and new interest. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos of people with spider pets or lizards and reptiles and all sorts of neat frogs and amphibians. Well, I caught my first spider, and the only reason I caught this one it was out in the wild. My daughter and I were hiking. We thought it was really neat looking. I've never seen a spider like this, so it was kind of green and transparent. Really neat. So what is it? It is a, I will not try to butcher its Latin name or the scientific name. I'll put it right here. But it is a orchard orb weaver. At least that's what we call it here in Ohio. Uh, my daughter nicknamed it Green Apple. Kind of fitting. This is a female version. The male version is more of a brown color than this one. Which is pretty neat to begin with. But I'll put a link in the description so you actually see all the scientific information about it. If you have them in your area. They're really neat spiders. Now I'm not very familiar with spiders. And only caught this one with the plans of actually letting it go within a couple days. But... I've learned more about it, and I think I can help keep it alive. I did feed it a couple grasshoppers, or sorry, small crickets. We In my backyard, we have a bunch of kind of gardening uh, bricks, if you will, kind of decorative garden bricks or uh, landscaping bricks. And I found a bunch of very, very small crickets and a couple big ones. And I threw a little bit, like I would call it a medium size. It's uh, smaller than your pinky nail, but it was a little bit too big. And you can kind of see it in the video jumping around. But I've caught smaller ones, and it seems to take to them. But we'll see. But something really neat happened that I wasn't expecting. The other day, I, I woke up and I went to check on her. And I couldn't find her nowhere. I had no idea where she went. So I got kind of worried. And and you see this is still picture I uh, have here. She actually got down underneath one of the uh, pieces of wood I have in there. And laid a nest. Or laid an egg. And then covered it up. I didn't have my phone handy or anything to record the video of her doing this. But it was so neat watching her lay her egg, which I only saw her egg there. I didn't actually see her uh, actually laying it per se. But I saw her covering it up, and it, to this day, it's still sitting there covered up with webbing. And uh, I have coconut shell or shredded coconut stuff you get from the pet store as her bedding. And it's really neat. So this is just a quick introduction to my new pet, Green Apple, or the orchard, uh, is it orchard orb weaver. And I'm not going to try to butcher the scientific name, but it's there on the screen. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Remember, stay safe and love creatures. And if you have any questions about this creature, click the link in the description below. It'll take you to a wonderful site that tells you all about it. And I hope to learn more. <clears throat> also, a huge shout out to all the YouTubers out there that share their pets. Either tarantulas, snakes, spiders, whatever they have. Thank you. Uh, there's an individual named The Dark Den. That's his YouTube channel. I'm not going to try to butcher his name right now, but I watch a lot of his videos, and there's a couple other ones I watch, and they're really neat, and they're really fascinating seeing these people work with spiders or different creatures like scorpions and stuff, and bring more of an interest to them than normally would be just stepping on them. So, my daughter and I enjoy it. Thank you guys for posting them out there, and hopefully I can add to the community. Thank you very much, and remember, stay safe. Thank <laughs> you.